Hello to everybody. I know we've got the pre-lunch session, and so we've got a lot of hungry stomachs out there. Um, and so we'll, 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 keep it, we'll keep it snappy. Um, first of all, um, as part of this session, we'll do two things. We'd love to, um, to share with you more background in terms of how IFC is supporting the ecosystem across Africa. We, every day I get people coming to me um, asking about what IFC is actually doing. There are so many different programs, so many different areas in terms of engaging with the organization. Um, both on our direct investment side, on the fund side, on the advisory side. And so we'd love to talk about some of that. And then we'd like to invite Lorna on the stage. She's, um, not yet, not yet. She, um, Lorna has applied for IFC's She Wins program, which is a great program um, we've, we've put in place to support women-owned businesses. Lorna will be able to talk a little bit about why she applied for the program and the areas where she's um, looking for the program to support. And then Anne will give some context on the overall program. Uh, so first of all, I'll share some background in terms of our overall VC program. Um, we have a global portfolio, two and a half billion dollars of commitment, 109 active direct investee companies, um, 80 fund investments globally in Africa. We've invested around $400 million in around 30 different funds, direct uh, investee companies across the continent. Um, on the next slide, um, we've detailed um, some, of our, some of our programs to support the ecosystem. We have our Catalyst program where we invest directly in seed funds and accelerators. That's a $60 million program that's been ex completely um, invested globally in seed funds and accelerators. We went for a top up for that program. We've got another $60 million to go out and deploy. Globally, we've invested in around 20 different seed funds, accelerated incubators through this program, supporting over a thousand different companies um, globally. Within Africa, we've got a, a great um, array of, um, of platforms that we've invested in. We also have our mainstream venture capital program. There we invest in mature funds. Through the um, Catalyst and the mainstream program, we've invested in funds such as Partech, um, CLCOM, We've invested in um, Flat Six Labs, um, Savannah, Anthla, Norskin, um, a range of funds across the continent. Um, we also have our direct program, which is the main focus for us at the moment. And so last year we approved a $225 million program, which we've been deploying for investing across Africa. Um, the focus for that at the moment is, is on our direct program. There we're targeting investment sizes of five to 20 million. Main focus is series B and beyond. Um, but we are able to, on an on occasional basis, to invest in series A. And we do have upstream programs to support earlier stage ecosystem development. We also have um, various programs such as Tech Emerge to support health tech sector, to support sustainable cooling. In terms of the types of companies that we're very keen to engage with, first of all, anything, any companies at Series B stage or above or beyond, very keen to engage. Um, promising companies in, um, in low-income countries at Series A stage, very keen to uh, engage. Also Series A, promising companies on an exceptional basis we can engage. Beyond that, um, we um, health tech companies, very keen to engage health tech companies running at above one and a half million dollars of ARR, very keen to engage. Um, I'll invite Lorna up on the stage um, just now. Lorna has applied for our She Wins program. Our She Wins program is a global accelerator program supporting women-owned businesses globally. There's an impressive stat to say that Africa is the continent where we see the most entrepreneurial women. We have 24% of African women involved in some form of entrepreneurial activity, but the ecosystem is not doing enough to support. So we put this accelerator program in place um, to, um, to, to, to change the, the, the story from that perspective. The first round of this accelerator program, we had 3,000 applicants. We're shortlisting 100 applicants. Lorna will talk a little bit about what she's looking to gain from the program. And then Anne will give more context on the program overall. Thank you. Hi, everyone. Hi, Psychop. Come on. Hello. Uh, my name is Lorna Ruto. I'm a multi-passionate social entrepreneur 
with a vision to have a green Africa free from poverty. And I'm also a beneficiary and an applicant of She Wins Africa. Can you guys say, Ahu, She Wins Africa? <laughs> yeah, that's the spirit. I am super excited, you can tell, because I assure you, She Wins Africa is what we need. Like, uh, what I do right, I, right now, I'm actually the founder and CEO of Ecopost Sustainable Living. And I work with uh, marginalized youth and women, thousands of very poor women groups, uh, to recycle uh, plastic and agricultural wastes, which uh, we recycle to make uh, very aesthetic, durable, and environmentally friendly products. That's the plastic lumber, like um, fencing, signage, and for building and construction, even outdoor furniture, among others. And the pellets we recycle to uh, sell them to other manufacturers to make items such as chairs, containers, among others. And I am super excited with what Shuins Africa is about to do for us. We, and it, it has already created a lot of business visibility, especially for people who have not been visible in the past. Uh, uh, she Wins Africa is an organization that is going to enable us to get a lot of media market exposure for our products. Uh, we're going to be able to get a lot of matchmaking opportunities with investors. Yeah, I am super excited. I've already started meeting a lot of uh, opportunities as I am speaking today, just you can imagine. Um, we are also getting a lot of technical advice, uh, training, uh, mentorship opportunities, networking platforms such as here. Did any is anyone having fun in this uh, field past days? I'm telling you the networking opportunities. Take advantage. Don't miss these opportunities. It's a once in a lifetime opportunity. And I am super excited. I'm telling you in the next five years, uh, working with such capable partners like IFC, uh, over 200 million uh, people will be enjoying better health due to cleaner environments, improved livelihoods, uh, preserved forests. You can imagine the category of the 100 people who have been selected. It's the super best women of, uh, entrepreneurs. And we are very excited to walk this journey. So I'm calling on to you to join us as we work together and make an impact and change Africa and change the world. Thank you very much and have a lovely day. Thank you so much, Lona. Good afternoon, everyone. Good afternoon. That's the kind of energy women entrepreneurs bring to the room, just in case you're doubting. So my name is Anne Kabugi, and I am here to pitch and talk to you about She Wins Africa, which is IFC's innovation to holistically address the challenges and barriers that women-owned startups face in Africa. In addition to what my colleague um, Elam has just presented in terms of what we are doing on the investment side of things, we are not blind to the fact that women continue to be left behind when it comes to funding, when it comes to accessing entrepreneurship support activities, but also when it comes to just being visible, being seen. Something struck out to me this morning uh, when I walked in uh, the session across uh, where there were pitches, you know, pitch after pitch after pitch. Really, really interesting businesses. But what really stood out, it was man after man after man after man. And I asked myself, where are all the women? And after that, we had a quick TED Talk style on this issue, where are the women entrepreneurs, and half the room walked out. So right there is where the problem is. When I was listening to Lorna and our other guests on the other side, a couple of things uh, also uh, jumped at my mind. Number one is just the never closing access to finance gap for women. It just keeps growing and growing and growing. Even as we are witnessing some form of gender lens investing momentum in Africa, there is not enough capital going to the hands of women-owned businesses. The second thing that stuck out was the lack of data. You know, the invisible women in the 
startups ecosystem. So we have to do more to shine a spotlight on these women and to show our investors that there's actually potential solid businesses, lots of women innovators and disruptors that actually deserve a hearing and they deserve to be invested in. The third thing that has also um, stuck out to me, not just here, but in our work across the continent, is just the lack of you know, curated and tailored support for women-owned businesses, and also looking at various you know, ecosystems across the region where it's, it's really, really very uh, varied depending on where you, know, you are. You look at the four big markets, Kenya, Nigeria, Egypt, South Africa, you're very likely to get you know, to an accelerator in those markets. But if you're talking about supporting African entrepreneurs, we also have to think about those markets where the, the ecosystem is not very well developed and we have to invest in those ecosystems. So She Wins Africa takes a holistic approach to this problem. We understand and we have learned through our work with women entrepreneurs. We have traditionally run the Banking on Women program with our financial intermediaries and we have learned that you know, no size fits all. We have to start thinking about women entrepreneurs at different stages of growth. So we looked at, we can support the women entrepreneurs with all the financial services support, with all the technical capacity advisory, but we also have to think about the other side of the equation. Where is the funding going to come from? And the other thing that we have learned is there's a lot of lack of capacity, knowledge, and expertise on gender lens investing in the VC ecosystem, but also in PE space as well. So through She Wins Africa, we are also looking to build a coalition of like-minded investors that can work with us in this journey. So we don't want to prepare thousands of women and then they'll be asking us, where is the money? So getting the two together is very, very critical and crucial. The third aspect of She Wins Africa is looking at the region and asking ourselves, how do we make sure that we are building for the future? So the next time IFC will not be doing a call for applications for She Wins Africa, we do want an ecosystem that is supporting these businesses, getting more women-owned businesses into acceleration and connecting them with investors um, at this stage. So that is how She Wins Africa is organized. But let me just tell you how much demand there is in this phase. This work began with our uh, colleagues in MENAR, where, as Elo mentioned, we've supported about 80 women-owned businesses in the startup stage. We ran a call for application in Africa uh, back in September, and we have received an overwhelming, nearly 3,000 businesses, women-led companies applied. So through a very rigorous and very robust um, evaluation and selection process, we've ended up with a hundred of those that we will be launching in the coming week. We have to sit down and ask ourselves, what is going to happen to the other 2,000 plus? Because it doesn't mean they are bad businesses. They're just maybe not at the level of their 100, or they just couldn't fit in the 100 bucket. So we are looking for partnerships that can also help make sure that we don't lose the other database of 2,000 plus companies. That's all about women entrepreneurs in a nutshell. But when you think about niche spaces like climate, the need is even more because even less capital is flowing to women-owned businesses in climate. I think the latest data show that's about 9% in 2023 because a lot of women-led climate businesses are completely invisible and they need a lot more support and we need to bring them out. So we are beginning to look at She Wins as our solution for startup stage and how can we go niche and provide more focused support for women-owned businesses in key spaces and sectors like climate. So you will be hearing a bit more about She Wins Climate as well and would like to invite, especially our friends on the funding side of things who really, really want to partner with you to be able to move the needle for women in the startups space. Thank you so much for listening to me. My name is Anne Kabugi. I'm here for the afternoon and looking forward to connect with a lot more of you. Thank you.